All right, hi everybody. Uh, so we're gonna pull a liner out of a uh, X15 Cummins here. So this, if you guys have been following the videos on this particular engine, cracked a ring on number six, so it had high crankcase pressure, took it apart, and lo and behold, just like we thought, had a cracked ring. When it did that, it kind of tore up the hash marking and everything in the liner on cylinder number six. So we're gonna replace that cylinder. I mean, this truck only has three, like 350,000 miles on it, so we went back and forth. I mean, the main thing, the parts are really, really expensive. So if you go from one cylinder versus six cylinders, the parts go up exponentially, about $5,000 more. It gets a lot more than what the labor is. So we decided on this one just to fix number six and put it back together. So today I've got a universal liner pull here that I got from Ferrum Tools, uh, one of my go-tos for any type of specialty tools, for main seal tools, injector tools, stuff like that very quick shipping, good people to deal with, and very reasonably priced as well. So this is their model 6400, I believe, uh, liner puller. We'll put a, a link in the description and uh, also we'll, uh, we'll go over a little bit more at the end of this video as far as what the tool looks like. But I've got it all set up here. We're gonna get up on top here, take a ratchet socket, and uh, go ahead and pop this liner up out of here. Okay, so we got the uh, tool inserted down in the cylinder here. Uh, so on this particular engine, we've got the, the legs of this set at the highest setting. Uh, another thing, we want to make sure we got these blocks so they're not touching the liner because obviously you don't want to be pulling, fighting against yourself. So we got those straddled against the liner. We're going to go underneath and show you what it looks like, how it's properly positioned on the liner underneath the block. And then uh, after we make sure everything's okay down there, then we'll get started uh, up here on top side pulling it out. Okay, so when you stick the uh, tool down in here, you're going to want to make sure it's seated. The legs of it are seated on the liner. There's two different sets of teeth, so you want to make sure you have the right set. So, as you can see, that's set in pretty well there. So we're ready to start pulling it out at this point. Okay, so everything's set up on the bottom. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start pulling it out. As you can see, it's coming out pretty easily. I mean, as loose as this is, I mean, you probably could have took a two by four and a dead blow and popped it out. Yeah, we're loose. And there's going to be some coolant that's going to leak out the bottom, so I wouldn't make sure nobody's down below there while you're doing this. Alright. Okay, and the liner is out. Okay, so we got the uh, old liner out here, and as you can see, there's some grooves cut in, and it's been worn really smooth. If you go down lower below where the uh, piston travels, you can see there's nice cross hatching down there. So, but up here at the top, it's all polished and gone, and, and also, like I said, grooves cut in as well. So that's why we decided to pull this and go ahead and put a new liner in it just out of good measure. Okay, so this is the uh, Ferrum Tools uh, 6400 Universal Liner Puller. Uh, we got this a few weeks ago for this particular job. Nice unit. Uh, I can't exactly remember the price, uh, but it wasn't uh, too expensive compared to what the rest of them are up there. Pretty heavily built. Uh, got adjustable legs on it here. Like that. We just did a, uh, you know, obviously pulled that liner out of the X15, so all the way up we're fine. It's got two different... Uh, sets of hooks, if you will, to go on for different liners. So it worked really well, as you saw in the video. Like I said, we use Ferrum a lot for our specialty tools, main seal tools, injector tools, different timing tools, gear pullers, stuff like that. Very reasonably priced, and uh, the next day shipping is awesome. So if you're needing something special and you need it in a hurry, uh, check them out. We will put a uh, link to this tool, and in the future we'll be using several other of the tools as well. And uh, we'll be sure to show you guys those as well. So that's pretty much all I got for today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Like the video uh, and subscribe if you haven't already.